Welcome to the Dennis Report. I'm Dennis Atchison. This is an episode of As I See It. Have to be honest right from the start. This one gets a little emotional. And I'll do my best to get through it. The title of it is English versus French. It's the media's fault. We're roughly 10 days after the provincial election. And the media has pounded away at this narrative about English versus French. And it's not doing a service to anybody. Adam Bowie, in his article on Chris Austin on September 29th, 2018, so roughly four or five days after the election, and because the People's Alliance won three seats, as well as the Green Party, give it the title, The Man Who Turned Politics Upside Down. Well, technically, no, it was the voters who now had four or five or six choices who voted to turn it upside down. Mr. Austin simply gave them a choice. But listen to how Mr. Bowie describes Mr. Austin. Husband, father, pastor, volunteer, politician, troublemaker? He also, later on in the story, describes the People's Alliance as right-wing and populist, and again reinforces the troublemaker thing. Not surprisingly, the Francophone community has pushed back if they believe what media write. The response from the Francophones has been loud and emotional. The pushback to the pushback from the Anglophones has been equally as loud and as emotional. In the middle of it, I'm wondering if Mr. Bowie sitting there with a smile on his face because he got all those likes or hits on his Facebook page and the Gleaner got all that attention to their media. That is not the role of media to stir things up. If anything, your role is to provide great information so we can sort it out for ourselves. Figure this. Quebec has it figured out. They know how to sustain culture and language in the middle of a larger mosaic of all these languages. And thinking of languages, consider this. First Nations have roughly 23,000 people who are working hard to sustain their language and culture. We have roughly 21,000 immigrants who also want to sustain their language and their culture, all the while having it all fit into a larger picture called New Brunswick or Canada. We need to remember that we're one population. We're responsible for nurturing this province together. Language doesn't divide us, it actually unites us. And the media need to be held to account for their contribution to the dysfunction in our shared narrative. And maybe to get us over the hump, I went back in time and found this quote from Louis Robichaud in the Equal Opportunities Act in 1966. It's a question of intent and feeling Mr. Robichaud wrote back then, the aim of this bill is the extension of rights for all New Brunswickers. It is in no way to diminish the rights now enjoyed by New Brunswickers. On an individual basis, it is the right of NBers to be and remain unilingual or to speak two or more languages. The objective is to ensure that no unilingual NBer finds himself or herself at a disadvantage in participating in public life of our province. With respect to the civil service, the fact that a man or a woman is unilingual will not be a hindrance to the appointment and promotion in a civil service while other qualifications are equal. Consider those words. Consider that as foundational to how we arrive at this moment in time in our province. Consider how Adam Bowie has chosen to portray Mr. Austin. And consider what we can do together to make it better. Because we're responsible for that shared narrative. It's time to be kind. Be good. Have fun. Love each other.